What is going on, people? Triple M back again with another video. It's daily dose of football content. And today, I've got a very short and sweet video for you guys as following the passing of the Queen at the age of 96 yesterday, every single Premier League game and EFL game has been postponed until further notice. Now, uh, I've been doing some digging and so far, at the time of me recording this video, it's unclear when these games will resume and whether or not the following week will subsequently be postponed as a result of this week being postponed. So it could be that we are out without Premier League football for the next couple of weeks. And some people are saying, well, well, it's not a big deal. It's one weekend. People just need to chill. There's more important things at play. But what you need to understand is that the Premier League is a global thing. That's that's number one. And I know immediately when I say that, you're going to be like, well, you're not English, so you have no business talking about this. Well, people in England, high profile people in the football media have shared the same sentiment. If you want to commemorate and celebrate the memory of a monarch who a lot of people clearly liked, the wise and intelligent thing to do would be to keep football games going and do a tribute at the beginning of the game. Do some sort of tribute, whether it's a moment of silence, whether it's wearing black armbands or whatever the case is, laying down flowers on the ground, something. You could do something that's a lot more meaningful than postponing football. That's number one. Number two, there's a lot of people who rely on football to make an income, especially considering the, 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 what happened during the pandemic. So if people are going to be compensated, that's fine. That's fine. What I'm about to say is irrelevant. But there are a lot of people who rely on the income on match days. And there's a lot of people who've paid a lot of money to hotels to travel, to watch their team this weekend, who are now going to have to cancel. It's just causing a lot of unnecessary chaos, in my personal opinion. You're welcome to disagree. You're welcome to disagree. So that's just what I think about it. And also, just completely on a completely unrelated note, there is also a lot of issues in terms of the scheduling of games that this is going to cause because the fixture list is already congested due to the World Cup being in an unusual time period. So the international break is already in two weeks as well. So where they're going to find time to put these games in, I don't know. And how players are going to cope with the injuries and all the strain that's going to come as a result of this. I mean, it was already going to be a difficult season anyways. I don't know. So this, this just seems like a very, very strange decision from me. And obviously, because I'm African, I don't want to get into the politics of it for obvious historical reasons. I'm not even going to go there. We're going to leave our political views at the door and be respectful. But it just seems like a strange decision. That's all I have to say. I'm going to leave it there before I start losing subscribers, because I know some people who watch my videos are actually from England. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video if you want to. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Peace.